Anything to save a soul. things now, Bill. Got to flip on the mic. Got to <laughs> get the phone ready. And, uh, it gets worse. <laughs> well, hey, good evening. Good evening. Y'all you know, have your Bibles. It's Sunday night and you're in church, so I figure you probably do. Turn to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And uh, as we always say, hope you've already prayed. Hope you come expecting something tonight. Yes. If you didn't come expecting something, then yeah. you may as well just stay at home. Yeah, true. true. And folks, listen, there's a lot of people that didn't expect anything tonight. Because they're home. Yes. They're right. home. But if you find your place, Matthew chapter 16, and we want to start reading in verse 13. Matthew chapter 16, starting at verse 13. The scripture says, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. We'd ask you if you would to bow your head. Lord, again, uh, we uh, come humbly before you today, Father, yes. thanking you for your precious word. Yes. Lord, once again, you just uh, put the words in our mouth that need said. You take Doug out of the way, and Lord, you give understanding to those that hear him today. Encourage where you need to encourage, and convict where you need to convict. Lord, again, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask these things in Christ's name, and amen. Amen. who people think that Christ is and who Christians know right. that Christ is. Right. Who people think that Christ is and maybe instead of who, what Christians know that Christ yes. is. Right. Uh, yes. He comes and he asks his disciples, said, listen, who, who do men say that I am? Yeah. And they reel off all the... the yeah. The names that have been mentioned about him, well, some say you're John the Baptist, but uh, some Elias or Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. And then the question is, okay, well, who do you say That's right. that I am? Yes. Okay. But folks, uh, who people think that Christ is, okay? Uh, there's a lot of people that say, well, he, he's, the, I believe in a supreme being. That's what they'll say. I believe in a supreme being. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bill, there's an old song back from the 70s, Spirit in the Sky. That yeah. that describes a lot of people's yeah. attitude. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, one of those hippie songs from the 70s. Some of you know. Some of you know. Okay. But, uh, the spirit in the sky. That's what most people regard Jesus uh, or God as. This, this spirit in the sky. Okay. This uh, supreme being. Uh, folks, listen, I don't believe in a supreme being. Right, right. I believe in the Amen. supreme being. Amen. Amen. And there are people that say, now listen, uh, how can you uh, say that about him and uh, leave all these other gods out? Well, Bill, don't get over it. Yeah. <laughs> Their feelings ain't going to get hurt. Amen. Okay? But how can I say that? Uh, Philippians 2.9. Yeah. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him yes. and given him a name that is above every name. Right. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow right. of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth, yeah. and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord 
to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Uh, so, folks, listen. Uh, this, I believe in a supreme being. <laughs> you need to believe in the supreme being. Amen. Amen. The supreme being. Listen, not just the spirit in the sky, not just the yeah. uh, uh, Mother Nature or whoever you want to <laughs> refer to him as. Listen, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There are those that just think he, he, he's this higher power. Okay. And there were those that looked and uh, Harley, he was just another, just another fellow. Yeah. Just another man. Okay. Uh, just the carpenter's son. Yeah. Just the carpenter's son. Um, I think it's Luke chapter 3, maybe around verse 23. Uh, it said that when uh, Jesus was about 30 years of age, uh, as was opposed the son of Joseph okay yeah. that about 30 years of age he started his ministry uh, being as was supposed the son of Joseph okay uh, he hadn't yet been revealed as the son of God and, and to all everybody else he was just Joseph and Mary's boy mm -hmm. folks listen uh that's all Jesus is to a lot of people now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just another good man. He's just another good man. Listen, what's the difference between him and Mohammed? What's the difference between him and Confucius? What's the difference between him and uh, whatever cult leader you want to uh, bring up, whatever political leader you want to bring up, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, he, he's just another good man, okay? Uh, even when he went home, Okay, even when he went to his went to his uh, old home uh, town. Okay, uh, Matthew thirteen, I believe, uh, down around verse fifty some somewhere in there, it said that when he returned to Nazareth, he, he went and taught in the synagogues, and that people were amazed. Said that where where's this coming from? Mm -hmm. Said is not this the carpenter's son? That's right. That's right. Folks, listen, it wasn't like they were laying down uh, palm branches, Bill. That's right. They weren't crying Hosanna. They said, listen, yeah. who's this guy I think he is? Is not just the, the carpenter's son? Is his mother not called Mary? Yeah. Are his brothers uh, not uh, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? Yes. Are his sisters uh, not here all still with us? Yeah. <coughs> listen, folks. Christ wasn't just another man. He was just another member of that family, Arthur. Right. They said, listen, what's the deal with him that he thinks he's better than all the rest of us? Right. And you all know the story that he, he said he couldn't do many mighty works there yeah. because of their unbelief. Unbelief, amen. Because of their unbelief. Folks, amen. listen, uh, he's got to be more than just the carpenter's That's son. That's right. Amen. He's got to be more than just the carpenter's son. And Harley, again, uh, I think we kind of take for granted how much the carpenter had to do with bringing Christ up. Mm -hmm. We had this idea in our heads that he come down and he was God and he was Sandy, yes. but he still had to be raised. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this carpenter raised him. Yes. He taught him how to build stuff, Mary. Yes. Yes. He taught him how to build stuff. And uh, just like that song, listen, folks, he, he built a bridge to heaven. Amen. With only two pieces of wood yeah. right. and three rusty nails. Yeah. Uh, folks, listen. This carpenter's son learned how to build something. And that was a way to heaven for you. Yes. A way to heaven for you. And Bill, I, I think it's kind of funny. He put him with a carpenter. And in John 14, he says, listen, in my father's house are many mansions. Don't you think God had some building in those mansions? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you think the son probably had a, yes. a, a little bit of part of that? Amen. I believe it says somewhere else that everything that was made was made by him. That's right. That's right. Okay. John. I believe in the book of John we That's read right. that. Okay. Yes. Amen. But listen, there were those that they just looked and said, well, it's just the carpenter's son. Yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, the, this Jesus from Nazareth. It's just the Nazarene. Mm -hmm. Okay. He would come into some city. Well, it's just the Nazarene. He's here. Okay, trouble's going to happen. Okay, but folks, uh, who that that people think Christ was? Okay, to some people he was just a teacher, mm -hmm. yeah. just a teacher. Again, just another Confucius, just another Muhammad, just another 
Dalai Lama or whoever, Mother Teresa. Uh, but just the teacher. Okay. Uh, John chapter 3. Uh, at the first verse, that there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, that came to Jesus at night and said, uh, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do the miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So, folks, here's this Nicodemus, a, a ruler of the Jews, a Pharisee. And listen, he's on uh, uncomfortable ground. Yes. Harley, that's why he come at night. If yes. anybody had seen him come during the day, that's right. he'd been booted out. Right. <laughs> he'd been booted out of the council. And folks, listen, uh, there's no difference today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what service it is, Mary. There are people, when they're sitting back there, it's just like Nicodemus. Yeah. That's a scary place to come up here. Yeah. That's a scary place to come up here because guess what? Everybody's going to be looking at me. Yeah. Everybody's going to be wondering what's he done, what's she done. Okay. But it said that he said, listen, I know that you're a teacher mm -hmm. because nobody could do what you've done except God yeah. be with you. Okay. But folks, listen, he's got to be more than a teacher. That's right. He's got to be more than a Amen. teacher. Folks, if he's just a teacher, then Harley, all this is is the greatest self-help book yeah. that's ever been sold. That's right. You all know this is the best-selling yes. book of all time. Yes, that's right. Amen. Mike, we give them away here, okay, yeah. if somebody needs one. But you know the Bible is the most, uh, the best-selling book that's of right. all time? But folks, listen, if he's just a teacher, all the Bible is is another self-help yes. book. Amen, that's right. But folks, let me tell you, this is more than a self-help yes. book. It'll tell you how to help yourself. It'll tell you how to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you how to fix the problems that are going on in your life. But folks, listen, he's more than just a teacher. But there were those that they just regarded him. They would come and they would listen. And Bill, I have no doubt, several of the Pharisees, that, uh, aside from Nicodemus, yeah. probably come and listen and said, man, yeah. <laughs> this guy knows what he's talking about. Yes. <laughs> Right. I've never thought about this before, but you know what? He's right. Yes. He's right because everything he said is word for word yes. for what the scripture says. Amen. That's okay. Right. But folks, listen, he's more than a teacher. Yes. He's more than a teacher. Then there were those that uh, they just flat out viewed him as the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who's Jesus? He's the enemy. Yeah. Folks, listen, that's why they, they plotted to kill him. Because mm -hmm. you know what? This guy's dangerous. Yeah. This guy's going to take away our influence. Yes. This guy's going to take away our prestige. This guy's going to take away our attention. Folks, there's a lot of people today that Jesus is the enemy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. You know what? Uh, my loved one died and he didn't save me. Mm -hmm. I got sick and he didn't heal me. Mm -hmm. My marriage broke up. My kids went nuts. <laughs> you pick whatever, yeah. okay? I lost my job, my house burned down, whatever. Folks, listen, somehow, Mike, Jesus has become the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Even when it's our own fault yes, amen. with a lot of these things. Amen. Jesus amen. has become the enemy. Folks, listen, Jesus was the enemy to a lot of people. Folks, before he saw the light, uh, Jesus was the enemy of Paul. Yes, that's right. He was the enemy of Paul. You go to Acts chapter 9 and, yes. and look at how it starts yes. that verse. Yet breathing out uh, threatenings right. and slaughter. Yes, that's right. Breathing out th threatenings and slaughter yes. against all those that had claimed to, to, to be uh, on this way. He obtained uh, permission to yes. take him and, and to put him in jail. That's right. Listen. Christ, in in Saul's mind, then mm -hmm. was the enemy. Yeah. Listen, I've got to follow the law. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And now there's these people that they say they believe that that this guy come and that he was the son of God. And it said that you know, listen, I don't agree with this. And guess what? I'm going to throw everybody in jail, and I'm going to get rid of everybody that don't believe the way I believe. Yeah.
folks, it's kind of like the atmosphere today. Listen, I, I don't care whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, that's right. Mary. That's right. Guess what? The people on the other side, you're the enemy. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. You're the enemy. Yes. And folks, how sad, how yes, sad that we've got to this point. Yes, it is. But it was, it's the same way with Christ. Listen, yeah. he's become the enemy. That's why when the light come and put Saul to his knees, he said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Yeah. He said, who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Listen, Saul, I'm the enemy. You, you think these uh, Christians are your enemy. I'm the one that you're persecuting. Yeah. I'm the one that you're angry at. Folks, listen, there are people that are angry with God. Today. That is true. Amen. They're angry with Jesus. Today. Yes. Again, because I don't get this, I don't get yeah. that, or this happened, or that happened. Yeah. But they view him as the enemy. Yeah. They view him as the enemy. Okay. They viewed him as just a, a spirit mm -hmm. or a ghost. Yeah. Okay. There's all kinds of strange things, folks. And if you watch Discovery, you'll see some of these shows. Okay. Uh, Bill, there's some things that are that are obviously made up, and there's some things that, listen, uh, Doug can't explain. Yeah, that's right. And nobody else can explain. But the, there are people that that's their view of Jesus is he's just the spirit, yeah. Harley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just the ghost, okay? Yeah. And even his own followers, yeah. even his own followers felt like that at times. Uh, Matthew 15, after he's fed the 5,000, remember he put the disciples on a boat, went up into the mountain to pray. Yeah. They're out on the lake, and the, yeah. the storm comes. And it's raging. And it said that they saw him walking on the water towards yeah, them. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it said that they were frightened, that they mm -hmm. thought it was a spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not until he comes and says, listen, it's me. And Peter says, listen, if it's really you, then tell me to come to you. He said, come. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But they viewed him as a ghost. Yeah. And it said that they cried out. Okay. Uh, Luke 24, I believe it is. After uh, he's risen and he appears to the ten, but Thomas isn't there. Yeah. Uh, it said again that they were terrified and affrighted and thought that they had seen a spirit. Mm -hmm. And he said, listen, peace, peace, peace be unto you. He said, listen, look at my hands. Mm -hmm. It's me. And then, Sandy, he says something that ought to have uh, gave him reassurance. He said, listen, you got anything to eat? Yeah, that's right. You got anything to eat? Listen, if I'm a ghost, how am I going to eat? Yeah. If I'm just a spirit, how am I going to eat? It said they had some broiled fish and honeycomb, I right. believe. Right. And it said that he ate in front of them. Yeah. And then that he left, okay, that he disappeared. But, folks, listen, he's more than a spirit. He's more than a ghost. Yeah. But that's the way a lot of people just view it. Yeah, that's right. Listen, he's just some kind of unexplained mm -hmm. thing that uh, these people that go to church every Sunday, they believe in. Folks, listen, he's more than a spirit. He's more Amen. than a Amen. Amen. To a lot of people, he's just a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a stranger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mary, it's sad. We've talked about the percentage of people that that believe in God, the percentage of people that are actually raised up in a Christian home today, yeah. I don't know what the percentage is, Bill, but it is yes. low. Getting low. Low. Okay. Uh, again, for those of us in here other than than Holden and Lance and Mary Kay's age, okay, yeah. uh, when we grew up, yes. Joe, that probably would have been 80%. Yes. 80%. Yes. Okay. Now it might be 8%. You say, Doug, that's awful low, folks. <laughs> yeah. Look around. That's right. Look around. Amen. Uh, but he's just a stranger. He's just a stranger to people. He's just a stranger to a lot of people in church. Amen. 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 You say, Doug, no, that's not true. Listen, no, that was true with the disciples. That's exactly right. Again, you go back to, to Luke 24. It said that there were two of them walking on the way to Emmaus, yes. on the road to Emmaus. Yes. And that Christ met up with them. And that they didn't know who he was. Yeah. 
And he asked them, said, listen, why are you so sad? And they said, listen, are you a stranger? <laughs> Do you not know what's been going on in Jerusalem these last few days? And that the more they, they walked and talked, that uh, when they finally got to where they was going to stay, they said, listen, why don't you stay and join us? Okay. And it said as they began to eat, that he took bread and he blessed it and he broke it and their eyes were open. Yes. It said, and then he vanished out of their sight. Right. right. Folks, listen, uh, it was just a stranger they picked up on the way. Yeah. And folks, these were followers. Amen. That's right. Followers of him. Yes. Okay. Uh, John chapter twenty. All right. Uh, Mary Magdalene at the at the tomb. All right. When she comes out and sees Christ, and he asks her, "Listen, why weepest thou?" Yes. And said she, supposing him to be the gardener. Right. Supposing him to be the gardener. Said, uh, "Listen, where have you laid him? Tell me, and I'll go get him. I'll bring him with me." Folks, listen, just a stranger to it. Yeah. And folks, that's what happens when grief overcomes somebody, Mary. Yeah. Jesus just becomes a stranger. Yeah, that's right. Thank Jesus you. just becomes a stranger. Listen, folks, there are people that Christ has just become a stranger. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's just become a stranger. Okay. There are people... That all Christ is, all Jesus is, is someone to be used. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, amen or else. Yes. Amen. Just someone to be used, okay? Uh, Luke 17 said that, the, that as Jesus passed by the certain village, that there were ten lepers that stood afar off. And that they cried out, uh, Jesus, Lord, have mercy on us. And he said, go and show the priest. And it said that while they were on their way that they were cleansed. And they start rejoicing, but it said one of them turned back yeah. and came and fell down at Christ's feet. Yes. And thanked him, and that he was a Samaritan. Yes, that's right. Okay. And it said that Jesus said, We're not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Yeah. Yeah. Where are the nine? Amen. Bill, I think that's another thing. I think I'm going to get a big poster, <laughs> big banner we're going to put across the front of the church. Yeah. Where are the nine? That's right. Amen. <laughs> yes. Where are the nine? Folks, listen. All Jesus says is somebody to be used now. Yes, amen. And folks, listen. It, it, hardly it upsets me when I see people that the only reason they're around people is to use them. Mm -hmm. yeah. how do you, how, Sandy, I don't understand how people's conscience has got to this point. Right. That you can just blatantly use people, Mike, and that's the only use that you have for them. Yeah. And folks, guess what? That's the way most people view Christ today. Yes, amen. You know what Christ has become? Yeah. Jesus has become Batman. He's got a funny costume and he's got all these things on his tool belt. <laughs> no, what I mean is, guess yeah. what, Harley? There's no need for him until I send up the yeah. bat signal. That's right. 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 Amen. There's no, oh, listen, he's my hero. <laughs> we love him. Yeah. But until there's a need for you, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. When we need you, we'll send up the signal. That's right. Folks, there are a lot of Christians that all Jesus is is somebody to use now. Yeah, amen. Amen. Folks, listen, not only here, but everywhere. You know why Sunday night don't mean anything? You know why Wednesday night don't mean anything? Because there's no urgency, yeah. Joe. Right, right. If there was urgency, oh, yeah. we'd send up the bat signal. Amen. amen. But there's no urgency. Because they look and they say, listen, I can see on the calendar there's another Wednesday coming. <laughs> yeah. There's another Sunday coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If my kid's sick, yeah. I'm sending up the bat signal, Sandy. If there's a crisis, I'm sending up the bat signal to God. But unless that happens, then guess what? 
I don't have any use for it. That's right. I don't have any use for it. Folks, listen. How do we use God and not feel bad about it? Right. How do you use God and not feel bad about it? But folks, that's what it, he's become. Just somebody to be used. Yes, that's right. Well, listen, my kid's sick. I, I need you to pray for him. Bring him to church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mike, there, there's not enough people in here for him to get sick. We can space you out, okay? <laughs> we'll keep you safe. Amen. Well, listen, I got this problem or that problem. Folks, listen. Guess what? In church, saying that you don't run around with the riffraff. Mm -hmm. right. yep. That's right. Amen. Doug, you old hateful preacher. <laughs> Amen, Ralph. Amen. Amen. Is that all God is to you? Is just somebody that you call when things go to pot? When I need something? For a lot of church people, that's, that's the right. way it is, Mike. Amen. Listen, when I need you, I'll call. Yes. Until then, I ain't worried about it. Yeah. But who people think that Christ is? But here's the difference. There are the, the lost, they think who Christ is. Mm -hmm. Church people think who Christ is. Yes. But folks, the saved yes. know Amen. who Christ yes. is. Amen. The saved know who Christ is. Yes. Uh, John 666. Okay? Said from that time many of his disciples uh, turned back and walked no more with yeah. him. Said that Jesus turned to the twelve and said, Will ye also go away? said Simon uh, Peter said Lord to whom should we go yes where else could we go Lord to whom should we go thou hast the words of eternal life amen and this is what this next verse is one that you ought to be highlighting in That's your Bible right. amen okay folks I, again I, I realize there are people Bill that they think that this is precious and it is but folks highlight this yes. in your Bible amen that Peter said listen to whom should we go? Uh, thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure. Amen. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ. Yes. The son of the living God. Amen. Folks, listen. Peter knew who God yes. was. Peter knew who Jesus was. Yes. Folks, listen. Doug knows who Amen. Jesus is. Amen. All of you all sitting here tonight, I know, yes. know who Jesus Amen. is. Amen. But folks, there's a difference in who people think that he is, Mary, yes. yeah. and Christians who know who he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know who Christ is tonight. Yes, yes. Folks, Paul knew who Christ was. Yes. Now, he didn't at the start. Right. <laughs> but folks, here's the good thing. You can learn. Yes, amen. You're teachable. Yes. You're teachable. Well, a lot of people ain't preachable now, but they're teachable. So. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, I ain't read her out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's all right. Oh, Doug. Boy. God's going to whip you on the way home. <laughs> Folks, listen. People's teachable. They're yeah. preachable, too. <laughs> they think they're not, but they are. But Paul, uh, 2 Timothy 1.12, yeah. says, For the which cause I also suffered these things, Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, yes. for I know whom yes. I have believed. Amen. I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that yes. which I have committed unto him yes. against that day. Yes. Folks, listen. We know who Christ is. Amen. Uh, just like Paul, guess what? We know who we believe. Yes. And hardly we're persuaded. Yes. That he's able to keep what I've committed on me. Amen. Okay. Now here's the problem. There are other people, Mike, and in the past, they made the same claim. Yeah, yeah I know who Jesus is. Yeah, I trust him. Yeah. Then why aren't you here? Yes, amen. Amen. Why aren't you living the life that you used to live? Yes. Because, Mary, here's the problem. And we've said this before. Either you're lying to me then yeah. or you're lying to me now. Either you was lying about who you was then yes. or you're lying about who you are now right. because you know better. Yes. You know better. Mm -hmm. 
But Paul says, listen, I know who he is. I believe, and guess what? I put my trust in him. Yes, amen. Against that day. What day is that? The day of judgment. Right, right. The day of judgment. Yes. Peter knew. Yes. Paul knew. Yes. Okay. John knew. First yes. uh, John chapter 5, and then we'll quit. Bless him, Lord. Uh, around verse 13. Uh, said, These things we write unto to those that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know yes. that ye have eternal life, yes. and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Amen. Folks, listen. Peter knew. Yes. Paul knew. Right. John knew. Doug knows. Yes. Amen. You know. Amen. Amen. Yes. Mary, a lot of the saints that aren't here now that are in the cemetery, yes. guess what? They know. Yes. They knew. Amen. But folks, my concern is the people that aren't here. Right. The people that claim to know. Yes. But your actions don't show it. Right. Right. The people that, uh, Joe, we definitely know they don't know mm -hmm. because they've never claimed Christ. It's just that ornament I put out at Christmas. Yeah. yeah. It's just that chocolate cross yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I get at Easter. That's right. Folks, there's a difference in who you think Christ is yes. and who his children know yes, amen. that he is. Folks, amen. do you know who Christ is? Today? Yes. Bill, get us a song. Folks, if you have a need, the altar's open. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now first on my side. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, and happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. All right, all hearts and minds free. Announcements. Wednesday night be prayer meeting, church, church, and youth group. So remember that. Any other announcements? Well, homecoming is just around the bend. Yeah, we do. Fifteenth <laughs> of September. So. About a month. About a month. Again, I hope everybody has.
good week this week. I said I hoped you'd get wet on the way out. I didn't know until Peggy told me that when somebody opened the door it was raining this morning. So <laughs> I'm going to get ready to sprint. I'm going to get ready to sprint. But uh, hopefully the Lord sends some more. Amen. He sends showers of blessing every day, but Mary, yeah. we could use a couple of the, of the actual showers too. So. That's right. That's right. All right. If nothing else, Sandy, backseat Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> this way, if you will. Amen. Amen.